Hello YouTube. Today we're canning golden mushroom soup. You could actually cut this recipe in half and use it if you just wanted to make just the soup. So it's not necessarily just to be canned. Uh, we're going to start off with one cup of celery. We put down uh, four tablespoons of olive oil to saute the celery, bell pepper, and onions. We used one cup of each. The recipe will be down in the comments. We're going to get this sauteing and going good. You want your vegetables to be somewhat wilted, but they don't have to be completely done. I had these in the freezer that I chopped a while back. While those are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and wash my mushrooms and soak them. They were already sliced when I got them, so I left them sliced. I'm going to take the uh, stick blender to it later and give them a little bit of a chop. Uh, I don't want big chunks of mushrooms in my mushroom soup, so, but if you want yours just coarsely chopped, that's fine. We're going to let them sit and drain for about five minutes. We want as much water to get out of them as possible. After they've sat and drained, we're going to add them to the pot and saute them in with the onions, bell pepper, and celery. At this point, we've added no salt, no pepper, nothing. Other seasonings we're going to need is ketchup, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, and lemon juice. We're also going to need some red wine. We used um, a cup of ketchup. I used a half cup and added another half a cup. And then added uh, one tablespoon of Worcestershire, three of soy sauce, and a half a cup of lemon juice. We're going to dump our mushrooms in and get them sauteing in with our vegetables. What I did was I did not have beef stock or anything to make beef stock with, so I used chicken bouillon, not chicken bouillon, chicken stock from a chicken, couple of chicken backs that I had, and uh, I added some beef bouillon to it for the flavor. I used the better than bouillon, and I added about two tablespoons, maybe a little more. We're going to add our one to our half cup of ketchup. We're adding one tablespoon of Worcestershire and we're going to add three tablespoons of soy sauce and we're just going to get all this together and set it aside and that way to be ready to go be dumped into the mixture when we're ready for it we're going to go ahead and measure out our lemon juice and have it ready and our uh, wine When I add the mushrooms, they kind of start to stick a little bit, so I did add another tablespoon of olive oil. And then this smelled amazing when it was cooking. I'm adding a tablespoon of minced garlic. And this, we're going to go ahead and add our bouillon to the vegetables that way it kind of get melted and spread evenly throughout the mixture. Like I said it probably equal two tablespoons. I just did a big heaping uh, spoonful of the beef bouillon. You're probably not going to need to add any salt if your uh, chicken stock is already seasoned a little bit and has salt. You probably will not need to add any salt at all to this. Uh, we added our wine, get that mixed in well. All these different components, you know, make up different flavors within the soup, and it really does turn out nice. I'm going to go ahead and take our um, ketchup, soy sauce, and, to, and Worcestershire and add it to the mixture and get it incorporated throughout. We want it to cook a little bit so we can taste and see what it tastes like. I thought it needed another cup of ketchup 
I mean another half a cup of ketchup, so I added another half a cup later in the recipe. Just adding the tomato uh, ketchup here does start to thicken it up a little bit, and it also changes the color. It starts having more of the, the golden mushroom soup color. <clears throat> Your soy sauce and Worcestershire adds the darker, shiny texture to the uh, almost looks like a gravy now. I'm starting to ladle in the chicken stock, <clears throat> and we're going to end up adding two quarts. I reserved uh, two cups or one pint cool to mix our sheer gel and our powdered milk to. We'll put that together cool, use the hand mixer and get it blended well and then we'll add it to the soup at the very last because you want to have everything down to the everything needs to be done before you add the sure gel went in and added half of my um, powdered milk here ended up using a cup and a half of powdered milk just seemed like it needed a little bit more richness to the uh, recipe we're adding our half a cup of lemon juice. Like I said, all these different flavors make up the components of what the golden mushroom soup tastes like. Taking our stick blender and we're going to go ahead and, and uh, chop our mushrooms up a little bit. I don't chop them until they're completely smooth. They end up looking diced when I'm done with it. Once we get this done, we can actually taste it and see what it's going to taste like. As you can see, it's thickening up a pretty good bit. Our mushrooms are not completely just chopped to their gone. We've still got some nice pieces of mushroom in our gravy. I call it a gravy, it's a soup. I use it mostly for additives to make gravy for like Salisbury steak. Uh, I've even poured it over a meatloaf and cooked the meatloaf in it, it was really good. Took a taste of it and decided it did need another half a cup of ketchup. So I'm going to add that half a cup of ketchup. And I did use Heinz ketchup. Using the spatula because it seemed like the mushrooms are wanting to stick a little bit to the side and even to the bottom. So I took a wooden spoon to make sure that they weren't sticky. And the mushrooms I used were cremini mushrooms. They had a little bit of a, a little bit of a tartness to it, so I added just what would be about a teaspoon of sugar. It needed more seasoning, so I added some onion powder. I go ahead and add garlic powder and black pepper to just give it a little bit more flavor. You want to taste it and see what you need. This is still your recipe. It's my recipe right now. But when you make it, the things you're going to add to it are the things you like. We're going to add a little bit more powdered milk. I mean, I'm sorry, our sure gel to the broth. We ended up using three quarts, three quarter cups of sure gel, the cooked kind, with two cups of our stock. We'll take the hand mixer again and mix that in. Once we get that mixed real well, uh, we're almost done with this. It doesn't take long. you got everything ready to go, it does not take long to make this. This video is going to end up being around 12, 13 minutes long, and that's not bad at all. And we've got it incorporated well. <clears throat> As you can see, we've got our mixture at a rolling bowl. You want it at a rolling bowl when you add your sure gel. You're not going to leave it on the heat very long, and you're going to cut it off. Because if you don't, uh, when it gets thick, it's going to start popping and it'll pop hot uh, liquid all over you. And if, if you're afraid it's going to pop, have you uh, a lid ready to go on it. I went ahead and, <coughs> excuse me, and slid it off the heat to uh, stop some of the cooking process because it was beginning to start to pop pretty, pretty bad. So and it can really burn you, so be careful with that. 
as you can see it's it's got thick last thing we're going to add is our I call it my secret ingredient it's dehydrated celery leaves the celery leaves really have a lot of flavor in them I'm going to add these in and mix it in with the <clears throat> our mushroom soup and it will finish absorbing in and cooking uh, in the canner process we put it in the jars leaving a one inch headspace it is important to use a one inch headspace if you don't it will boil out of the jars so be sure you leave a one inch headspace I pressured it for 75 minutes on 10 pounds you'll have to adjust that according to your altitude I did use my ball jar wrench to make sure that I had my lids at the proper tightness and okay, what this wrench does is it tightens them just enough to seal and just enough to guarantee that they're going to be able to vent also I did have a little bit of the juice come out of the jars during the processing time but it all came out fine. This is the Pressure Prepper. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you haven't joined our channel, do so by clicking on the subscribe button and be sure to click on the little notifications bell. This is the Pressure Prepper, and I'm out.